Hi, my name is Alexi Antoniadis. Um, I work as a designer with Nico, and we collaborate on art together also. Hi, my name is Nico Stone. Um, I also work as a designer and builder with Alexi. Um, I mean, our background I th uh, came out of uh, carpentry and building, mm -hmm. primarily. And, uh, you know, we definitely both have a lot of experience as artists and painters. Um, and along the way, we sort of married the two and created this collaborative. So. You know, as of now, we've developed a pretty a pretty tight vision, I think, and we know when something works and when it doesn't work. Yeah. So, I mean, I would liken it to like sort of a band, you know what I mean, that's played together enough, you know, so that we're comfortable and like what comes out is, has got a certain flavor at this point. No, I think a lot of this stuff is based on our relationship. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I think what we connect with on a lot of this stuff is our own, you know, individual and then combined relationships to these things. Uh, it's also, uh, it's, it's also like part of like something we've just developed working together. You know, these elements like working with architecture, and working with you know these paintings are made from these marks that are generally vandalism on a window or you may see somewhere. I mean, we sort of like this has become our menu because we sort of we also go back historically together. Like we've known each other since we were young, and have sort of identified with things along the way and, sure. and collected those. That's just and now it's our, it is our language. It's, Everything's made is the, yes, is the one unifying thing in our work. You know, yeah. it's not, you know, it can appear like an assemblage or something, but everything's made. Yeah, nothing so. here is found. Nothing, everything is cast or made or built out of wood, you know, and like nothing that, sort of, there's a lot of illusion and craft in a lot of the stuff that we do. It like, takes on a new life when you make it, you know, and it guides our process. I think a lot of it is, is rooted in, in process and in one decision informing the next decision and you know you may have an idea of what something is but until you physically make it and watch it exist for a while you know you have no you, real sense of yeah and you have full control over it versus finding a big cement block outside in the world and bringing it in and riffing off of that it's a whole different you know it has a different you know it has a completely different history I feel like something yeah. that's made asks something completely different from the viewer than something that's found and yeah. placed so. it's, it's becoming more of a solid language for us and also you know obviously incorporating these paintings and stuff I think enforces more of a abstract approach to the whole thing maybe and I think we're sort of pushing the envelope of, of, of these relationships and trying to expand our language a little further with these paintings and some of this you know the black abstractions and stuff and I think that was the challenge for this show yeah, that was the challenge for the yeah. show. Like these are like sort of more meditative objects that you sort of you don't necessarily you know it's a little more ambiguous, and like I think incorporating that like expanding our vision basically it, yeah filling out basically where we're coming from a little more you know I think this show does that a little more.